We can flip the earth upside down and have day and night. I want to address the liberal mainstream media's attack on me. Hang on a second. I'm not liberal mainstream media and I didn't actually attack you. All I did was make a video about the really, really stupid things you said when you interviewed that moron, Flat Earth Dave. For interviewing two guys who are wonderful people, they're highly intelligent. <laughs> and I was so blessed to have them on my show. Highly intelligent? Maybe I'm jumping the gun here. I honestly thought that she was butt hurt because people were calling her a flat earther. Oh damn, this may end up being a really short video. She can't be calling Dave Wise intelligent, surely. Dave Wise, Wise and his friend Matt Long. Phew, <laughs> that was a close one. So she is talking about Dave, now Candace. Dave Weiss claims to believe that the Earth is flat, and for the purpose of this video, let's just say that he does actually believe that. On what planet does that make him intelligent? We have observations going back thousands of years that show us, without any doubt, that the Earth is indeed a globe. And they're both Christians, and they both have a different view of the solar system and creation. Well, the fact that they are both Christians explains why you like them. But sorry, no, they do not have a different view of the solar system. They've got the same view as everyone else. Oh, wait, hang on a second. You most likely mean opinion when you say view, don't you? <laughs> well, in that case, yeah, they do have a different opinion on the solar system. And there are basically only two different ways of looking at the solar system. There's the right way, and then there's the flat earth way. And I just want to say that I have four degrees, four college degrees. One is a terminal degree, and it's a PhD, a doctor of philosophy. So obviously, I love to learn. Well, hooray for you. But if you love to learn, then why the hell did you invite two flat earthers on your podcast? What are you going to learn from a flat earther? How to be wrong? How to eat crayons? How to publicly humiliate yourself? And I love different theories. I love different philosophies. That's who I am. Okay, so just because Flat Earthers slap the word theory on their weird bedtime stories doesn't mean it's actually a legit theory. A real theory isn't just some random thought you had while daydreaming about pancakes. It's like the Swiss Army knife of explanations, tackling all angles of a topic. And it's backed up by so much evidence, it's like a detective with a wall full of clues. A top-notch theory can even predict the future. N no, not like that. No crystal ball needed. If it keeps getting those predictions right, it's like getting a gold star in the world of science. And here's the kicker. A theory has to be testable. If you can't challenge it in a game of prove me wrong, then it's not even in the scientific ballpark. And I think it's probably who you should be as well. You probably should learn. Because if you stop learning, it makes you ignorant. Oh yes, I agree, 110.3967%. Weirdly specific, I know. Not learning does make you ignorant, which is why flat earthers are even a thing. Like I said in my flat earth rant video from Monday, which I will link below in case you haven't seen it. Rather than admitting they don't understand something, flat earthers just dismiss the massive amounts of scientific evidence that shows us we all live on a globe. I'm not really sure how this helps you though, because you were the one who sat there like a nodding dog when you were interviewing these two complete morons. And now you have the bare-faced cheek to sit there crying that people called you a flat earther? <laughs> Boo hoo. If you stop learning, it makes you irrelevant. Yes. Yes, it does. I'm so confused. I thought you were here to set the record straight about you not being a flat earther. Even though you made comments like, Globes of propaganda, y'all. I think you're funny. <sighs> I thought politicians had people for that sort of thing. You know, to make sure they don't dig themselves into an even deeper hole. Y'all. <laughs> so, for me to interview someone that doesn't believe exactly how I believe or exactly what I've always been taught is not an anomaly. I don't think anyone has said it. What people are saying is that you are really dumb for agreeing with Flat Earthers. Look, just to give you some context, even though I doubt you'll see this video, but think about it like this. 
You know a rubbish bin or a trash can for my American friends? Well, right at the bottom of that bin, underneath the trash bag, there's usually a liquid. It's disgusting. We call it bin juice. Well, if you scrape away all that bin juice, you'll find another lower level. And if you could get down further than that lower, lower level, you'd find Flat Earth is intelligent. What I'm trying to say is that Flat Earth is intelligence is lower than a penguin's ball bag. It's normal for me. It's normal for me to interview people and learn from them. So why did you decide to interview two Flat Earthers then? What could you possibly learn from two Flat Earthers? Especially one as stupid as Dave Wise. We all know that all Dave is trying to do is be Flat Earth's next Mark Sergeant. Well, sorry, Dave, but there can only be one supreme idiot in the Flat Earth community, and at the moment, Mark Sergeant has got that covered. Unless, of course, he does what he promised to do after MC Toon sent him pictures from a plane's cockpit showing curve. In fact, I'm interviewing a transgender next week. That doesn't mean I'm a trans. You're interviewing a what? Did she just say, I am interviewing a transgender? And that doesn't mean I am a trans. A transgender what, Candice? Person? Frog? Water buffalo? That doesn't mean that I don't know I'm a woman and I'm not proud to be a woman and I don't believe in two genders, male and female, because I do. I believe there are two genders, male and female. That doesn't mean that I don't understand that transgenderism is a gender identity disorder and it is a mental health concern. Now there are so many things wrong with that statement. I think for me to respond to it fairly, I would need to make an entire video about it. So for now, let's just stick with Flat Earth, shall we? Okay, so because I interview someone does not mean that's who I am. I completely agree with you. But when you are interviewing that person, if you keep agreeing with them, then people are going to conclude that you are the same as them. And in this case, a flat earther. I made a video about it. You didn't disagree with Dave once. You just kept throwing fuel on his flat earth fire. I am a Christian. I love Jesus. I am a woman. I'm created perfect in the image of God. Yeah, we know you're a Christian woman. We've got eyes. And unfortunately for you, those eyes can also see that you're a complete idiot. All this video is, is damage control. Jesus Christ, woman. You called it globe propaganda. What the hell is biased or misleading about the globe? You do realize that every celestial body in the universe is also globe shaped, don't you? I've never said the earth was flat. I've never said that I was a flat earther. Never, ever, ever have I said that. Well, you didn't actually say the words, I know, but you did say this. Yeah, you know, and whenever I, I can't unsee this, all the globes everywhere. I turn on TV, there's globes in the background, there's globes on there right here. Like this would be a globe if I was a normal person. Like everywhere there's globes. Oh, and this. How does water on the ocean spin and not go everywhere? And now you're butt hurt that people are calling you a flat earther? I did not say that globes were fake. You just said that they were propaganda and that the reason there are globes everywhere is so that the mainstream media could brainwash us into believing in globes. And that's what they do to brainwash. And so for me, if it is not a conspiracy, if it is, you know, real, why are you pushing so hard Everywhere I go, every store, you buy a globe, there's globes everywhere, every movie, every TV show, news media, why? I never said that. Okay, okay, let's just agree to disagree then. What I said was that NASA, taking billions of dollars every month of our taxpayer money and funding something that we do not see any progression in. I have a question. Is this woman a real politician or is she just an actress playing dumb? I mean, what sort of idiot says that NASA hasn't made any progression in the last 50 years? You've all seen me listing off the things we only have today because NASA developed them, so I'm not going to do it again in this video. But you have to be a special kind of stupid and make a claim like that, Candace. I thought the idea behind your video today was to set the record straight and show us all that you aren't a flat earther. It's not going very well, is it? going to space, going to the moon, going to Mars, learning more about space. There's no progression. 
Yeah, she is that stupid, isn't she? Number one, we are going back to the moon in 2024, next year. Number two, we have a rover on Mars right now. And if that isn't progress, then I don't know what is. We're in an economic crisis. Our whole economy is falling apart and we're sending billions of dollars to NASA. <sighs> if the US budget was one dollar, NASA's budget would be half of one of the pennies that make up that dollar. That's their budget and it's not anywhere close to being as much as these conspiracy morons seem to think it is. And given the fact that I'm making a video about an elected government official defending herself against people calling her out for maybe being a flat earther, <laughs> well, I think that the USA has bigger problems than the amount of money allocated to NASA each year. I'm just saying, don't you go getting butt hurt. It's not my fault. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Watching this now on your phone. Yeah. I don't believe in the Green New Deal. I think the Green New Deal is absolutely ludicrous. I do not believe in global warming. I do not believe in that. So you are a complete moron then. And if that statement doesn't prove it to every single person who's seen your video, then nothing I can say will convince them any further. You just did my job for me. And it just reminded me about something from my last CC video where he too was saying that he didn't believe in global warming or climate change or whatever you want to refer to it. I had a long-term subscriber tell me they were unsubscribing and that I shouldn't touch the topic of global warming. And I can only assume it's because they think it's fake as well. But honestly, I saved the comment. It's this one here, look. But yet, because I questioned NASA and I said, if the earth is a globe, which we've always believed the earth is a globe, and we believe that, why do we see globes on all the TV shows, on all the movies, and all the stores? Why are there globes everywhere? Why? Because that's what we live on, you stupid bloody woman. The reason we have so many globes everywhere is because in order for people to learn about the planet they live on, it's pretty handy to have them for kids to be able to look at while they're studying and learning about the Earth. I'm guessing that she did this off her own back. I thought people like her had other people to advise them on things like this. P PR people or whatever the hell they're called. Well, if she has, they're not doing a very good job, are they? Because it's propaganda. It's propaganda for us to be okay with NASA spending billions of dollars of our taxpayer money to fund whatever they want to fund. Like I said earlier in this video, what exactly is it that NASA does that is biased or misleading? Can you imagine what it's like to be in her head? <laughs> no, I didn't mean empty. Well, actually, no. What I mean is, on what planet did she think that this video was going to help her convince people that she isn't a flat earther? Or at the very least, a conspiracy theorist? Oh, we can flip the earth upside down and have day and night. I would never have thought to say something so dumb. That is completely idiotic. Ah, yes, but you did say this. How does water on the ocean spin and not go everywhere because you would rather believe fake propaganda and fake news than listen for things yourself and do your own research yeah you're definitely not a flat earther are you <laughs> No flat earther has ever said, do your own research. Anyway, just quickly before you all leave, I put out an extra video this week. I uploaded it on Monday. It was a rant about flat earth. And I thought it would be a good way of getting some extra content out for you every week. So if you haven't seen it, do me a little favor. Go and give it a watch. It's less than three minutes long. And I, I, and I will link it below. Let me know your thoughts. And feel free to comment what you'd like to see me rant about next. Thank you to this lovely lot who all hit the super thanks button on the last video. Beroche6849, Randy Steiner4749, Unpeter Bread, Asil8122, Tigger62, Golden Skeptic, Memmy Human9507, Alinat5321, Osman J, and PhD Tony. You're awesome. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Love you, bye. All right, all right, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe by order of the creaky blinder.